This is Ashtar Abbas Sekhman. We are here to serve all of you. Hello, Ashtar. Welcome to our space today. Hello. So I would like to um, to to start this uh, video today with something that I was just uh, talking with Erica. I was just chatting with Erica before we begin recording and channeling. Um, we were talking about future timelines and uh, we have many, many questions on this subject. Is this something that uh, you think is appropriate to discuss today? Yes, it is very important to discuss about this topic because of you are a creator. Right now, all of you are becoming to be a self-sufficient creator. Instead of creating something unknowingly or automatically without will, you are becoming a conscious creator. So this is the another subject we want you to be aware of. Yes, thank you for this comment. I really resonate with it. So there was a um, there was um, information that came through another channeling from a certain individual who was saying that uh, the current situation, uh, the COVID uh, situation and restrictions, uh, what we are experiencing right now on Earth, for example, is going to take like about one more year until we we get out of this. And uh, I was wondering if you could perhaps make a comment on that or even if you would give us your I, perception of, of the future. Yes. So, as you understand, there is no future. Future, past and the present is the human concept. Everything exists now. So when in our perspective, when we look at a timeline, we do see every single timeline like aligns, aligning with next to each other sometimes. So when we see an each possible timelines or billions of possible future we could see. So sometimes a channeler or telecard leader or someone is focusing on one particular timeline, a possible future predictions. That doesn't mean this is the only future. But you have to understand you are co-creating the future as a group. So when you encounter with a channeling and someone is saying something will take this much or something will happen, whatever that is. And then when you put your focus on or you started to, we would say, doesn't mean you will agree on, but any kind of focus on, any kind of energy on, you are contributing the energy of the creation. This is exactly why we are suggesting you to focus on inside of your world instead of external world, including other people's channeling. Because when you focus on one thing, you will put more energy on one thing. So, you are responsible as a creator to what you focusing on. So let's say someone says it will take one more or a few more years to resolve your current situation. And then many of you focus on this possibility. This is a possibility. It's not a prediction. Doesn't matter if this person is saying under my name or galactic relation of life. It really doesn't matter. If you are focusing on this possibility and let's say put some kind of energy, you are 
giving extra magical function to activate this more than others. So the part of the reason why we say you have to focus on your inside instead of what's going on outside, because this is the exact mechanism the dark force has been using with your manifestation power, but manipulating on what you are focusing on with what they wanted you to focus. It's a manipulation. Because they don't have the ability as a creator to create the reality like you do. So they needed you to create the reality they wanted to create. So they use various methods to manipulate your emotions and state of your consciousness to put your frequency in the certain range instead of respecting the natural growth of other species. So when that happens, of course, the certain reality will show up. So before this ascension, when all of you are in 4D, when you are in 3D, you are in this mechanism. Someone tells you to focus on one thing that you do. Regardless of you like it or not, we are saying that do not focus on the dark side or what they are doing or revenge or justification or justice because you are putting more energy to create that part of the creation. You are helping them to keep on existing. Once you're no longer focusing on a particular creation, then it will dissipate. You understand? Yeah, so absolutely. It's extremely important to, in a way, this is a lesson for all of you to say, hey, someone credible is saying this or that. Do you want to contribute yourself into this information? Or do you want to focus on your inside, which is easy to manage? And you're always having clarity. And when you are focusing on your internal world, unless you haven't worked on yourself, it's always keeping peace and harmony and balance. And then when you will encounter some kind of uncomfortable emotions, you can manage them and clear them by feeling through them. So by doing that, you're also contributing your new creation of the timeline. Instead of the following the template which has already created in the past, you will create new timelines on your own way. So let's say many of you will focus on, okay, I'm going to focus on what's going on in my life instead of the predictions or future channeling predictions, I'm going to focus on my life, what I like, what makes me happy. Then you are vibrating in very high frequency. And then when you're focusing on internal self, your vibrational level is very predictable because you can get in touch with how you're feeling and what you're vibrating on pretty easy manner, especially those of you who are listening to this channel. So in a way you can constantly emit yourself in the stable vibrations, which is also the part of the service. Because when many of you are start emitting in the stable vibrations, just like a hundred monkey effect, mm -hmm. other people starting to emit their vibrations. And the way your vibration is stable, that's gonna give confidence or ease to others. So they're no longer looking around outside to get some kind of 
solid or certainty. And that is what we have been keep on saying to you. This is why it is very important for you to focus on what's going on within yourself and your little life, because it's not as little as you think. Fantastic, Astar. I, I I totally uh, love your message, and I find this to be true also in my own personal experience. And I, I have to, I have two questions. I will ask the first one um, first. <laughs> so, is there any comment on or any information better better in the technology called uh, looking glass? Because um, I've heard that uh, it's uh, something that uh, a certain group um, on Earth owns and they have that this technology has the ability to look into the future and they have uh, seen the possible the most quote unquote possible timeline for earth which is as they as i have read it's irreversible which is like the the new golden age for earth yes that is the uh, 4d technologies so in our point of view it is very outdated technologies so those of the groups you call as a cabal or demonic figures or Satan they are the beings from 4d places so in 4d we're not saying all of 4d beings are evil but 4d beings tend to serve on themselves so their technology is a lot more like yours the mechanical oriented they need the tools to achieve something so when a civilization proceed to higher frequency we are no longer using any kind of tools to predict the future because we can just tune in when we look at the all those timelines for example on earth we could see countless possibilities countless and then all of the new timelines are created by each one of you so many times when you are connecting with higher frequency groups and beings they are not always predicting the future occurrences because that could be a possibility but that doesn't mean it will happen 100% for sure for example Erica was having the uh, channeling session with Daniel Scranton and then he he was she was connecting with the creator so she asked some of the personal questions including about her apartment so at that timeline, she was going to find a new apartment by September 1st, which is not where she's at, at this timeline. So it depends on what do you do and then what kind of lessons you need to learn or what kind of decision you make at, at the moment, which she did, your timeline can change like flip out the coin. Yeah. And the personal timeline or group timeline is the same because you are the part of the group. So the looking glass is the old technologies. This is why they cannot predict anything farther than we are going to ascend. Mm. It's almost like you're trying to look at um, HD TV with a very old TV machine <laughs> in CD. Mm -hmm. Because you can't really look at the HD vision with that old traditional TV. And why is this uh, technology on Earth? How did it end up being on Earth, this looking glass uh, technology? It is the part of the agreement so this technology wasn't always used for a 
positive purpose. Of course, this technology was to manipulate the timelines or manipulate the history or rewrite the history or rewrite the timelines or all of these self-serving purposes. But any tools, you can use a tool in both ways, both positive or negative. So the current timeline, the project The Looking Glass, is sort of taken over to the people, by the people who are more of the vibration of service to others. This is why the existence of the technology was revealed and then the tendency of the current timeline or direction of what it can predict was revealed. Otherwise, you wouldn't know about this technology. I see. So I have a question because I felt that this, uh, this technology, whatever that is, is something that is um, that is not interactive, that is just like, it, you know, something that you can look through. I didn't. And now as, you, as you're speaking, what I understood is that uh, through this device, whatever that is, you can um, influence reality? And if so, how? Well, they use this devices to predict the possible timeline before it decided to ascend. So when some people are having their self-serving purposes, they could look at it and then try to come up with their beneficial outcome. But this is very old technology and this machine is no longer interacting with this particular timeline. Because when you use 4D technology in 4D world, which where we are right now, which is sort of useless, don't you think? I guess so. That's why I'm, I'm asking more, more information about it. I'm trying to understand the concept behind. It's just technology try to see the future. But you don't have to really focus on this machine because it cannot predict anything anymore. This is the same thing as what we are talking about channeler or anything. You are the one who is creating a new timeline and a reality, so you don't need to focus on this. And this is very outdated mm -hmm. machine. Yeah, yeah, I understand. It's, um, let's say, based on separation. Yes. Um, Okay, very good. And I want to go back to something you said before and make a comment because you said that uh, you gave the advice to us that the best we could do at this particular moment in time is to um, to look within and to, to to stay with our own vibration of our own being and, and there we can we can find the peace and and the high vibration. And I wanted to make a comment and say that um, First of all, I 100% I agree and resonate with what you say because that's how I perceive my life the last months. But also, what I another, another way I, I keep myself in a high vibration more and more is by connecting to my external world, but connecting to nature. Yes. And connecting nature is a very effective way because nature is already 5D. Yeah. Yes, and uh, before we start this video, actually, I was sitting in, in, in the garden here and I'm, I'm looking at this lemon tree and I I wanted to your comment on that because I, I almost felt as if I am like not in this world, quote unquote, as if I was sucked into another dimension just by connecting with the energy of the tree. Yes, because when you would say, when you want to get out of this matrix, the easiest simple way to do this is to connect with nature. 
because the earth has the same as the 5D, nature is the same as the 5D, animals are the same as the 5D. So instead of immersing yourself into the information or technologies, because when you put yourself into nature, nature is not broadcasting what will happen a week from now or one year from now or all these news. Good or bad. It's always stable. There's some predictability, such as seasons. But you can feel the vibrations. So by connecting with high frequency energy of nature, you are automatically connecting to 5D consciousness. You're putting yourself into 5D dimensions, physically. Mm -hmm. So by doing that, put yourself into ease. And by you being accustomed into this particular frequency and vibrations, it's getting easier and easier to put yourself constantly into this frequency, whether you are in the nature or not. Yeah, I have another question. I'm just, um, it's just, it just came into my mind as you're, as you're speaking. I wonder, isn't it part of our purpose as souls incarnated on human bodies, therefore human beings? Isn't it one of our purpose, so to say, to be connected to Gaia? Yes. Because there is the no mistake in your Bible, it says you are the keeper of this earth. Yes. You are the gardener of this earth. Even though you are not a really good job as a species, your job is basically to take care of it and be in the harmony to live with earth not live with animals. And that is the ultimate future you all will be experiencing. That's what you call as a 5D Earth. Of course, there is so many different versions of it. It depends on what kind of uh, creation each of you will make. But overall, tons of frequency and tons of vibrations are the same yeah and isn't it isn't it so that if we were we would go back to nature if we would we were more connected to nature as our which is our, our purpose and one of our purposes of being on this planet we would yeah. the shift would be much more smooth much more easy yes so of course in other high frequency civil culture they may have a certain technology or conscious AI, but when you look at all these planets of each places, the planet itself do have a lot of natures. Majority of the places are very much with the harmony and the nature of each planet. And they do have a technology. In a way, minimum, because um, once you reach a certain vibration, you don't have to use machines to compensate yourself to get something done. You do it through consciousness. Yes, and the crystal technology, yeah. which is different from people use in 40 planets, mm. which is more machine like how you use your technologies. Yeah. I would this like to ask you... Balance. Excuse me? This is about balance. Yes. So we're not saying abolish all technologies. You will pick and choose which one you like to retain. For example, all of you wants to explore yourself to other planets, you will gain the knowledge how to create spaceships from other civilizations. So you can have that kind of technologies or you can have a certain technology to give your 
energies or create unlimited amount of food or anything so you can provide more abundance to all but you can retain the majority of the planet if you choose to do so which majority of the beings they choose to do so once they reach certain amount of frequencies Yeah, and and I think we would we we could have uh, much more advanced uh, technology if we would just observe uh, Gaia how it works and and try to just uh, think and behave like the intelligence and the system of of Gaia. Yeah. So the higher frequency technology or higher civilization frequency is. Or usually do work in concert with their nature. Mm. Yeah, I I once um, had the past life regression and I I was uh, on a on, on Andromeda and I remember the the city was was alive was a was a mix between technology and nature. Uh, it was it was amazing to see. It was it was as if the building, quote unquote, where I was living, it was like it was breathing. Yes. Yeah. I hope this is where humanity will go. Um, meaning, like hand in hand with with uh, nature and technology, and not. Uh, allow technology to to take over yes so this is the choice all of you can make because the current situation what you are experiencing is the also the choice you're making it's quite critical at the moment right there's uh, there's um, other two main timelines the one that goes towards transhumanism and the other one that goes towards more advanced uh, ways of being in cooperation with nature? Yes, you can put it that way if you want to put in black or white. Mm -hmm. But in a way, every choice you make, every choice you focus on, you will strengthen that part of the reality. Yeah. And this is why we are emphasizing all of you to start focusing on your inside and your personal life. Because it's much easier for you to align yourself into the optimum timeline. Right, you don't need a distraction right now. Unless you have invincible focus, which you don't have yet. No matter what is going on outside, you can focus on one thing mm. you want to focus on to create, which no you do have yet. This is why it's very important for you to focus on something you can focus easily mm. without distraction. And that is what we can come up with, what is the best things to focus on your situation mm. talking about all of you i also see in myself um speaking personally now maybe some people might resonate um i see like a mid-step like a half step um between focused on the external world and and focused or focused in the internal world and for me, it, it's more like a gradual process, and and what I want, where I want to go to is that that's what I, what I do. For example, is I I detach emo emotionally from my external reality, uh, and I just observe it. Uh, I just look it as an observer, as if I'm looking through. I'm then looking at things unfolding in a TV screen. Yes, and then you can also use external reality to ask the question: Do you want this or not? Mm -hmm. And then if you don't want this? 
<laughs> then you say no and the focus something else makes you happy mm -hmm. when you are exposed by any kind of information or terminating yeah. or anything makes you feel really um unstable shaken yeah that is not the way you want to be sometimes those are uh, shaken feeling you can use to work on yourself but some of you we would say want to focus on having the stable vibration instead of constantly working on yourself yeah we would say the balance is important to work on both but in order for you to acclimate yourself into a stable vibration, focusing yourself, your world, your internal world is the most effective way to focus on. Something makes you happy. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to make a comment, and and, and you can um, and and you can of course um, please share your perspective on that because. We say it's focus on the inside, but um, if someone is unstable inside, if if it's um, imbalanced, if he if he has suppressed negative emotions, if he has traumas, if he's you know in a in a low vibration, um, it might not help him to look within. No, so maybe people should also like uh, at the same time. focus on, on on starting to heal themselves to the bring healing more. process is part of looking within yourself so mm -hmm. when an individual is that heavy vibrational wise usually an individual aren't really focusing on within they may keep themselves busy or mm -hmm. taking care of others yeah taking care of anything other than themselves taking care of anything looking within yourself but when an individual started having courage to look within yourself look within their shadows that is the process of creating clearing yourself and clearing your vibrations and changing the world because everything started within. Yeah. Yeah. And I think more and more people in this um, find themselves in, in this exact um, situation right now. Yes. It's like so part of the reason the current event is happening, so this will provide a majority of the people to start looking within themselves instead of outside. You mean the COVID uh, situation? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I also feel it as a collective purging. Yes. Mm. So every situation you can look at the negative or positive, but even seemingly negative situation, they always positive upside to it. Fantastic. I really enjoyed our discussion, Asta, thank you so much for your wisdom. Yes. This is Astro of Astro Command. We are here to serve all. Alrighty. So, so now welcome, Astro. Very nice. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, I am Hara Katsiki and uh, our, I am here with Erika. And uh, Erika, you can find all her links below. Uh, we hope you enjoy our discussions with Astar. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments in the box below and we will make sure to ask in, in future videos. Great. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye.